Hey what's up guys, Gamfi here and welcome to the latest episode of Upgrade to Glory. We are rocking and rolling with this series and uh, it's not actually going to be that long until the series is over. The, the way we're winning right now, we're on a huge winning streak. We could have this series finished in just a few episodes which is absolutely crazy. But um, anyway, if you leave a like this video, that would be absolutely awesome. Comment below what rare gold BPL players you want to see in upcoming episodes. Because as I say, we're just a few wins away from those players which is absolutely awesome. Uh, sadly, I might not be able to get informed just because I don't have a lot of coins, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But uh, getting into the games, I do want to point out, EA Sports sort the freaking servers out. I was playing these games midweek, and the servers were freaking horrendous. Like Even on the menus, it was lagging. My internet was fine. But uh, yeah, everyone was complaining about the servers, and it was horrendous. In some games, it was horrific. But anyway, getting into it, in the 49th minute, this is pretty much a one-goal game. We do go ahead with N Valencia's left-footed finesse around the goalkeeper, and that was pretty much was all she wrote for that game. Yeah, pretty boring game overall. It was end-to-end, -end, but there were no clear-cut chances, and uh, yeah, it was a pretty tight game overall. So we do get a nice little upgrade to start off this episode, which is absolutely great. And the player we're actually going to go ahead and upgrade is not going to be the CDM, it's actually going to be the goalkeeper. We're going to say goodbye to Pantelamon, and the goalkeeper I went for in the end was Guzan. I went through all your comments, I was looking around, and uh, yeah, I went with Guzan in the end, just because of the height, to be honest. I like having tall keepers, they're normally better for me. I know a lot of you said Vorm, but I've used Vorm this year, he was awful for me, so that is the reason why I didn't go for him. And then we came up against this. Now, I know I said I didn't want to come up against the low-chem sides. I swear to you, the servers were horrendous. I couldn't get a game. It was horrific. It really was. So, pretty much, we had to make the most of it. A bond the hall, getting a goal in the first minute. Well, in the second minute, sorry. And, uh, yeah, with that, I was pretty confident I could get the win and hopefully get a hat-trick. And a bond the hall does get his second goal, taking it around Booth on here and uh, putting it in the back of the net just before the 20th minute. But then came a bit of an issue. The ball came to a bond the hall. He slid through once again. It should be easy, it should be a hat-trick for a bond the hall. It takes it too far on the goalkeeper, it hits the defender, and it's 3-0. And 3-0, that pretty much means a rage quit is coming, and we actually screwed ourselves. We didn't get a hat-trick with a bond the hall in the end. It was just two goals for him, so uh, yeah, we messed that one up completely. But we still do get a single upgrade, which is fine with me. I'm actually going to say goodbye to Enna Valencia. He's been decent. Not as good as Sacco in my opinion, but he's been a decent player and I haven't judged using him. And look who we bring in. We bring in that guy, Welbs, and I'm very excited to have Welbeck in the team because he is freaking OP this year. And uh, yeah, I'm sure he's going to get a lot of goals for us. And I'm sure a lot of you are looking forward to seeing Welbs in this series. So uh, yeah, let's get into the last game of the episode and this is what we're coming up against. It's full cam, but it's an A-League team. I was very surprised to come up against this, to be honest. But uh, yeah, I thought, you know what, this should be... A pretty much easy win. Uh, I don't know too much about them. I know that left winger is pretty pacey, but apart from that, I don't know too much about them. But uh, I was a bit worried to be honest. I don't know why he didn't have David Villa actually. If you're having an A League team, why do you have David Villa? That's my question. So uh, yeah, we had to make the most of it. And well, look at that nice little turn and makes it 2 0 in the 12th minute. And this game ended up being a bit of a walkover. And it got a bit annoying to be honest because, as I said, the servers were absolutely horrendous. You can see that in the clips. It was lagging all over the place. This is like the worst of all the games. And it was frustrating to play. Even though he was winning, it wasn't fun to play because of how bad it was lagging. And that was just so freaking frustrating. And uh, yeah, that's probably the word I'm going to have to use a lot in this episode. Frustrating. Because it really, really was. As you can see, this lag was horrendous. But we are making the most of it. And in the end, it's well back here. He's going to get his hat-trick with this header across the keeper. And he's got absolutely no chance. So 5-0. And wellback has got a hat-trick. So we are going to get a double grid. And then this happens. Look at this. This is horrendous. I can't even clear the ball because of the lag. And then eventually, he shoots it straight at Guzan. And Guzan can't react quick enough. And he's sadly... He gets on the score sheet, which he shouldn't have. And then straight after he scored, we just ran at him. We just kept running with a bon Lahore, and we know how good a bon Lahore is at doing that. And yeah, he slots it in. He's a pretty comical goal. But uh, thankfully, after that goal, he quit. Thankfully, because that game, I'm telling you, that was like the most stressful 55 FIFA minutes I've ever endured. Just because of how laggy it was. It was so frustrating. But anyway, we got the win. We got a hat trick, so we do get a double grid. It's absolutely awesome. And we're going to upgrade. Coyote, which is a shame. He's an awesome CDM. If you need a strong CDM, Coyote is very good. He's very quick as well, and I'm going to miss him. But we do bring in there the Tottenham Kapu. Um, I love him on this game. He's a very good CDM. Don't like Tottenham players, but uh, I do like this guy in FIFA. And we're also going to say goodbye to Nathaniel Klein, which is a huge shame. This is the bit I hate about the series when we're getting rid of the good silvers and bringing in the low rated golds. 
But uh, yeah, it's a shame to see Klein go because he's really good in real life and he's really good in FIFA. But anyway, that wraps up the episode. That is the upgrades. As you can see, three upgrades away from the goal team. So in the comments below, let me know what red goal BPL players you want to see in upcoming episodes. If you did like this video, that would be awesome. Have a very good day. Hopefully, we'll have some more challenging opponents in the next episode and hopefully some less laggy games. Apart from that, have a very good day. Adios.